I want to talk to you today about a subject that touches many of us deeply, feeling chosen but alone, and why being around a lot of people can be challenging. Our exploration will be divided into four profound and structured parts, each offering wisdom and practical advice. First, let's consider the nature of being chosen. Many of us carry a unique mission or purpose, something that sets us apart. This sense of uniqueness can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, it can fill us with a sense of importance and direction. On the other hand, it can isolate us. The very qualities that make us special can create a barrier between us and others. Have you ever felt that your path is so unique that it becomes difficult to relate to those around you? This is a common experience for those who feel chosen. Our uniqueness can manifest in different ways. Exceptional talents, deep insights, or a profound sense of purpose. These gifts can make it hard to find common ground with others. They may not understand our perspective and we may find their concerns trivial compared to our own. This can lead to feelings of loneliness and isolation. It's not that we don't want to connect. It's that the connection feels shallow or unfulfilling. But why is it so challenging to be around many people? One reason is the energy dynamics at play. Being around others requires energy, and for those who are deeply introspective or sensitive, this can be draining. Imagine being in a room filled with people, each with their own thoughts, emotions, and energies. It's like being in a sea of waves, each one pulling you in a different direction. Do you feel exhausted after social gatherings, even when you enjoy them? This is a sign that your energy is being stretched thin. Another factor is the depth of conversation. Small talk can feel meaningless to someone who is used to pondering life's big questions. While others may find joy in discussing everyday matters, you might crave conversations that go beyond the surface. This doesn't mean you are antisocial. It just means your social needs are different. You seek connections that are deep and meaningful, not just casual and superficial. Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lessons. As we navigate these challenges, it's important to find balance. We need to honor our need for solitude while also recognizing the value of community. Solitude allows us to recharge and reflect, but too much isolation can lead to loneliness. On the other hand, Community provides support and connection, but too much social interaction can drain us. How can we find this balance? One way is to be selective about our social interactions. We don't need to be around people all the time, but we do need to find those who resonate with us on a deeper level. Seek out individuals who share your values and passions. These connections may be fewer, but they will be more fulfilling. Another way is to set boundaries. It's okay to say no to social events that don't serve you. It's okay to take time for yourself when you need it. Remember, self-care is not selfish. It's essential. How often do you prioritize your own needs over the expectations of others? This is a crucial question to consider as you navigate your social life. The Tapestry of the Chosen Navigating the Inner Realm of Purpose and Solitude Now let's explore the inner journey. When we feel chosen but alone, it often reflects an inner struggle. We are grappling with our identity and purpose. This inner journey is crucial for our growth, but it can also be lonely. We are peeling back the layers of our being, examining our beliefs, values, and desires. This process can be intense and isolating, but it is necessary for our evolution. During this inner journey, we may find ourselves questioning everything. Who am I? What is my purpose? Why do I feel different from others? These questions can be overwhelming, but they are also gateways to deeper understanding. It's important to sit with these questions, 
even when the answers are not immediately clear. Trust that the process will lead you to greater clarity and wisdom. As we navigate this inner journey, we may also encounter our shadows. These are the parts of ourselves that we have hidden or denied. They can be aspects of our personality, emotions, or past experiences that we find difficult to accept. Facing our shadows is not easy, but it is essential for our healing and growth. How do you react when you encounter parts of yourself that you don't like? This is a powerful question to explore. To support this inner journey, we need to cultivate practices that nurture our soul. Meditation, journaling, and spending time in nature are just a few examples. These practices help us connect with our inner self and find peace amidst the chaos. They allow us to listen to our inner voice and gain insights that can guide us on our path. It's also important to seek support during this journey. While the inner journey is deeply personal, we don't have to do it alone. Find mentors, therapists, or spiritual guides who can offer wisdom and guidance. Join communities where you feel understood and supported. Remember, seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. As we continue to explore our inner world, we begin to understand ourselves better. This understanding brings us closer to our true essence. We start to see the patterns in our lives, the recurring themes that shape our experiences. This awareness is empowering. It allows us to make conscious choices and align our actions with our values and purpose. One profound realization we often encounter on this journey is that our sense of being chosen is not about being better than others, but about fulfilling our unique role in the world. Each of us has a contribution to make, a gift to share. When we embrace this, we shift from feeling isolated to feeling connected to a greater whole. We see that our uniqueness is a thread in the fabric of life, and every thread is essential. As we integrate this understanding, we may also find that our relationships change. We attract people who resonate with our true self and let go of those who do not. This can be a painful process, but it is also liberating. It creates space for authentic connections that nourish our soul. How do your relationships reflect your inner journey? This is a question worth contemplating. Navigating the external world. Bridging the gap between the unique and the ordinary. Let's move on to the third part, focusing on navigating the external world. When we feel chosen but alone, it's not just an internal experience. It also affects how we interact with the world around us. We may feel misunderstood or out of place in social settings. This can lead to a sense of alienation and frustration. However, there are ways to navigate these challenges with grace and wisdom. One important approach is to cultivate empathy and understanding. Recognize that everyone is on their own journey and their experiences are different from yours. Just as you seek understanding and connection, so do they. By approaching others with compassion, we create a bridge that can overcome the gaps between us. This doesn't mean we have to agree with everyone or become best friends with everyone we meet. It simply means we acknowledge their humanity and their right to their own path. Another strategy is to find common ground. While your experiences and perspectives may be unique, there are always areas where you can connect with others. These points of connection may be small, but they are significant. They allow you to build rapport and find mutual respect. What are the commonalities you share with those around you? Reflecting on this can help you find ways to connect more deeply. It's also beneficial to develop strong communication skills. Being able to express yourself clearly and listen actively can transform your interactions. When you communicate from a place of authenticity, others are more likely to respond in kind. This creates a space for genuine dialogue and mutual understanding. How effective is your communication? This is a key aspect to consider in enhancing your social interactions. Additionally, 
it's helpful to manage your expectations. Understand that not every interaction will be profound or meaningful, and that's okay. Sometimes, simply being present and open is enough. Release the pressure to always connect on a deep level and allow yourself to enjoy the moment as it is. This can reduce the stress and anxiety associated with social interactions. Finally, remember the importance of self-care. Social interactions can be draining, especially for those who are sensitive or introspective. Make sure to take time for yourself to recharge and reflect. This will help you maintain your energy and well-being. How do you take care of yourself after social interactions? Developing a self-care routine can support your overall balance. Navigating the chosen path. Integrating insight and balance in daily life. In our final part, let's focus on integrating these insights into everyday life. It's one thing to understand these concepts theoretically, but it's another to live them daily. Integration requires practice and commitment, but it is the path to a fulfilling and balanced life. Start by setting clear intentions for your interactions. Before engaging with others, take a moment to center yourself and decide how you want to show up. This can be as simple as setting the intention to be present, compassionate, or authentic. By doing this, you align your actions with your values and create a positive energy that influences your interactions. Next, practice mindful presence. Whether you are alone or with others, be fully present in the moment. This means letting go of distractions and focusing on the here and now. Mindfulness allows you to experience life more deeply and connect with others more genuinely. How often are you truly present in your interactions? This is a practice that can transform your relationships. It's also important to embrace vulnerability. Being open about your feelings and experiences can create a deeper connection with others. It takes courage to be vulnerable, but it is a powerful way to build trust and understanding. When you share your true self, you invite others to do the same. How comfortable are you with being vulnerable? This is a key aspect of authentic connection. As you navigate your social world, remember the importance of boundaries. Setting healthy boundaries ensures that you protect your energy and well-being. This might mean saying no to certain social events, taking time for yourself, or communicating your needs clearly. Boundaries are not about isolation. They are about creating a safe and supportive space for yourself. How well do you set and maintain boundaries? Reflecting on this can help you find the balance that works for you. Another crucial aspect is embracing the ebb and flow of social interactions. There will be times when you feel more connected and times when you feel more isolated. Both states are natural and part of the human experience. Embracing this rhythm helps you avoid feeling overwhelmed by social demands or overly isolated during quiet periods. How do you handle the natural fluctuations in your social life? Recognizing and accepting these cycles can bring you peace. Now let's talk about finding your tribe. Your tribe consists of people who truly understand and appreciate you. They may share your interests, values, or worldview. Finding your tribe can take time, but it's worth the effort. Start by engaging in activities and communities that align with your passions. Be open to meeting new people and forming connections. As you do this, you will naturally attract those who resonate with you. Who are the people who truly support and understand you? Identifying and nurturing these relationships can provide a strong sense of belonging. In your journey of being chosen but alone, it's also important to recognize and celebrate your growth. Reflect on how far you've come and the wisdom you've gained. Acknowledge your strengths and the unique gifts you bring to the world. Celebrating your progress boosts your confidence and reinforces your sense of purpose. How often do you take the time to celebrate your achievements? Making this a regular practice can uplift your spirit and keep you motivated. 
As we integrate these insights, remember that balance is key. Strive to balance your need for solitude with your need for connection, your inner journey with your outer interactions. This balance is dynamic and may shift over time, so remain flexible and attentive to your needs. How do you maintain balance in your life? Regular self-reflection can help you stay aligned with your true self. Lastly, cultivate gratitude. Gratitude shifts your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant in your life. It helps you appreciate the connections you have, no matter how few, and the growth you experience, no matter how gradual. Gratitude opens your heart and mind to the beauty of your journey. How often do you practice gratitude? Incorporating gratitude into your daily routine can transform your perspective and enhance your well-being. In conclusion, feeling chosen but alone is a complex and multifaceted experience. It involves navigating the challenges of being unique, managing energy dynamics, and seeking meaningful connections. By understanding and integrating these aspects, you can find a balance that honors your individuality while fostering a sense of belonging. Remember, your journey is unique, and it's okay to walk your path at your own pace. Trust yourself, embrace your uniqueness, and cherish the connections that truly nourish your soul. May you find peace and fulfillment in your journey, knowing that you are not truly alone. You are part of a greater whole, and your presence is a valuable contribution to the world. As you continue to explore and grow, may you discover the deep joy that comes from being authentically you, both in solitude and in connection with others.